Hey guys, today we're going to talk about how to remove those star ratings from the M7 player. Now, why would you do that? Well, there's actually a couple reasons. Um, I guess one of the reasons is that it's you may think that the star rating is a bit distracting. Um, some people think that it's not distracting. Some people like the star rating because uh, we just added the vote count for each beat that shows you how many people have voted on your beat. But having said that, some people may think it's a bit distracting, so you want them removed. Another reason is because maybe, uh, maybe somebody is uh, rating your beats really low. Um, it happens. People are out there on the internet just they're just not happy. So, <laughs> so uh, they, that's just how it is. Uh, the other reason is maybe you are getting plays, but what's happening is they're just not voting. Um, so it is a bit discouraging if a client, say an artist, goes to your website and uh, sees that your beats have no votes or even uh, a low um, a low rating. So. If you want to get rid of that completely, I completely understand, and I will show you how to do that in a second. Now, there is a tiny, tiny con for removing them, but I'll explain that later. And when I say tiny, it is, it is tiny. But um, first things first, let's go ahead and uh, remove those ratings from the player. I'll show you how to do that right now. Go to your control panel and go to your settings and then click on autoplay play count and then you should see the allow rating right here by default it is checked go ahead and uncheck that and then scroll down and hit update now go back to your player and go uh, refresh your page and you should see the ratings um, the ratings uh, are now gone. Now, one of the things that you see immediately is that you get a bit more of a cleaner look. Uh, and if that's what you're going for, then, then by all means, you probably want to remove the star rating. Um, but, the, uh, but removing them is uh, a bit of a, is just a tiny con and I'll explain what that is right now uh, we have the uh, we have something called the charts where when you submit beats to the store um, or upload beats they're automatically entered into the charts now when somebody uh, rates your beat high then that gives us a signal to uh, move your beat up the charts um, so if you don't have any rating system then you lose that signal now, having said that, it is a small signal, so don't think that it's a huge, huge signal. Don't think that if you uh, remove the ratings that you're going to plummet from the ratings. That's not how it is. Um, what is a strong signal is plays, and also if somebody buys that particular beat. Those are really, really strong signals. The ratings, uh, uh, they're, they're small. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, it is a small signal. So it's really your choice uh, whether you want them on or off. Um, if you're not uh, too, too worried about the charts and you're worried about uh, low ratings or, or getting no uh, votes for your beats, then go ahead and I would just remove them. Uh, again, one of the plus sides is a cleaner look for the player. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching and uh, I'll talk to you later.